I've always desired. You know, haven't read books from Rick Joyner and all Jim Gaw, the great prophets of our time. Especially Jim Gaw. He's a seer. He said that always tries to exercise himself in the spirit so that he will live under the influence of the spirit for 24 hours. Because there are several things that cannot happen until you are under that cloud of that of the spirit. Especially, you cannot be quickened but in the spirit. And I hope you know that if you don't experience quickening, you cannot pray. For the Bible says, quicken us and we shall call upon thy name. So most of you are saying, why is it that I'm not able to pray as much as this person, as much as that person? It's because you don't know how to sustain the presence of God and it is that presence that has the ability to quicken you. In the book of Isaiah chapter 28, from verse 9, he said, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. I think I need to explain this. Who shall he make to understand knowledge? Who shall he teach doctrine? So not everybody can be taught doctrine. But the ones that can understand knowledge as it obtains to spirit reality. I know you know physics, you know the law of gravity, the law of buoyancy, the law of up trust. You know how things happen. You know the laws of navigation, principles of economics. How to evaluate the viability of an economy. How to stimulate an economy. You know many natural things. But you see, there are laws, there is knowledge about how the realm of Christ functions. There is knowledge about how the realm of God functions. It is that knowledge that gives us the ability to operate and to partake in things that are resident in the spirit world. And if you don't have access to that knowledge, you are going to live by natural knowledge and that is going to be a diminished and a miniature version of yourself according to God's expectation. And so God says, Who shall learn this knowledge? And unto whom shall he teach doctrine? Say, first of all, the people that can have this kind of advantage must be weaned from the breast. That means... They have drank the milk of the word of God. The new creation realities. This is what we are in Christ. This is who we are in Christ. This is how the corridor of Christ is. We need a revelation to know the things we have in Christ. That revelation comes because of the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. It is that spirit that enlightens the eyes of our understanding and causes us to see things the way they are in Christ. And the way things are in Christ are different from the way they are in the natural. When we see things the way they are in Christ, God is expecting us to adjust our natural disposition to accommodate those principles. It is that movement from your natural setting to accommodate the spiritual profile of things that is called alignment. And if you have achieved alignment in a particular matter, the first ground from whence this alignment will be achieved will be your heart. Because that's where the eyes of your understanding are. 
that were enlightened. So alignment affects the core of your being and it brings you into orientation with the spirit template. The factor that moves you into that alignment is that you stumbled upon knowledge that is only found in Christ that illuminates you and educates you about how God operates. Hallelujah. It, 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 the scripture is making us to understand that if you do not desire deeper things in God, you'll be stuck with milk. You'll be stuck with new creation realities. You'll be stuck with that doctrine that makes you think that God is owing you. So, your lot and your portion is to be receiving from God. I have faith to receive. You are still in milk. And you can actually spend all your days on milk. But the Bible talks about men that have been weaned for milk. They have seen milk. If God has put all these things in store for us, He must have something that He wants us to achieve. And in order for you to achieve that, you cannot achieve that by wanting just to do it in the flesh. You must be brought into another curriculum of knowledge. And he said that only those that have been weaned for milk can press sufficiently into where they can tap the knowledge that is knowledge in it. That even the scripture, the written word of God, if you have not entered that realm, you cannot see the scripture. Because the way it is done in scripture is that those realities are fragmented in the scripture. <laughs> you, you don't understand it. The things that you will encounter when you press for that knowledge are, fra- they are in the scripture, so, but they are deeply hidden. So that you need to go precept. Upon, if, you are not, if you have not touched the original, touch the reality, you cannot find it in the scripture. If you have not touched the thing in the realm, you can't see it in the It's in the scripture. True. But if you have not touched it in the realm, you cannot find it in the scripture. Because in order to see it sometimes, you, must, you need to go here a little and there a little. So a man that has not touched it cannot find that little. He's there. The people that wrote by inspiration encountered those things and they wrote by those things. And as they wrote, it was not written in a sequential manner. That is step number one. This is step number two. Because the spirit realm is not structured like that. The spirit realm is not structured according to logic. Structured according to life. You have to be drawn from breast and brought into life. To have intercourse with those realities. Then the eyes are enlightened. And you now say, oh, it is here a little. It is there a little. It's on this line and it's on the other line. Sometimes you need to go wide to see it. Sometimes... It is close together and men rush and never get to see it. The fact that you have a... Have you not seen a professor in your department those days? Is that what you want to be like? The guy has gathered knowledge but the knowledge is not blessed. So the more of it we receive, he looks like, like a cartoon creature. Especially the ones in science. I don't know about your own. But in science, you see, this lecturer comes with two glasses. One, you put one, and put another one. His note is in German. So he will come to class and be interpret, translating. Why not go home and just translate it? Eh? He comes every day and he will tell us, you see, it's in German, it's in German. Who wants to learn your German? Oh my God. What? We are even talking about French. You are saying German. Who wants to even learn it? Say, my notes are German language. Oh. And with the increase of that knowledge, there is no advancement. It's as if the knowledge is cost. But there is something called the blessed knowledge. And when you reach out to it and you receive it, everybody wants to be like you. Because it radiates. The knowledge itself radiates with the glory of the one that is known. And until you have touched it, you cannot find it in the scripture. 
And the prophet said, there is something beyond milk. My people don't want to be weaned from breast. And there is a knowledge, there is a doctrine that men need to learn. Hallelujah. Sometimes you need to travel to Revelation and to Exodus to see the shape of that realm. He just formed a little in Exodus. Formed a little more in Revelation. And only a man that has entered into that corridor can see it. Ah. This is the dimension of the tower that I entered. Exodus testifies about it. The walls of Moses reveal it. It means Moses was there too. So if you don't know what you are looking for, you will never find it in the Bible. And I speak as a man that has done carnal study of the Bible for years. And I still invite you for carnal studies. Because the carnal studies will be a foundation. Because the, the word of God itself is a revelation. It was revealed. Hallelujah. But when I began to enter into corridors, the scriptures are no longer 2D. They are 3D. They are spirit. They are life. And it welcomes us into those corridors. And when you have seen those things in the spirit, you can now find them in the scriptures. You get it? Now, one of the things that can be found is what he reveals to us here. To whom he said, wait, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with the stammering lips and with another tongue will I speak to the Spirit. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith he may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshment. Those two words. Mark those two words. This is the rest. And this is what? The refreshment. But what will a kind of man do? He said, ah, but there will not what? There will not. He says that in the realm of the spirit, there is a new tongue. That's what we call speaking in tongues. But there is something attached to it that is a bit different from our perspective of it. He calls it what? A new tongue, not tongue. Now when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit and you speak in tongues, a time comes when a, an added unction comes upon you. It will produce what? A new tongue. Spiritual rest and refreshing is affordable when a new tongue comes upon you. So those of you that is bo 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 ba ba bo 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 bo, you are far from rest. He said this type. Hallelujah. This is the rest. And this is what? The refreshing. When Jesus said, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. And they shall speak in what? New tongue. Is that new tongue that he spoke about? Not tongues. New tongue. In the Greek they went a bit deeper. And they called it fresh tongue. A tongue, you know, there's a prophet that said, since he gave his life to Christ and got baptized in the Holy Spirit, he has not spoken the same tongue. That is a lie. What we are talking about in the tongue is not a new vocabulary, but a new what? Tongue. It is in the Greek that we understand it better because he calls it Kayanos tongue. Kayanos means new or fresh. For those of you from Otupa, let me see your hand up. You are from the Otupa side. 
there's pan wine there. You must have heard that the fresh pan wine is stronger. Is it true? You may not have known it experientially. <laughs> but it's common knowledge that what fresh pan wine has stronger intoxicating ability. Why? It's new. It is fresh. And that is what happens when you speak in tongues out of a new impartation. The, the energy that, is generates, that it generates is fresh energy. And it doesn't need to be a different vocabulary, but it's coming out of a new unction. A fresh impartation. A new anointing. Now, if we move in the miracle session, some people will speak that tongue. It's not necessarily new in utterance, but it comes fresh. It is that that brings refreshing. But only people that are weaned from the breast can seek the corridors where new tongues are given. Every time you are held up by life's challenges and you are bl blessed as much as to receive a new tongue, it diffuses it. It sets your soul in peace and freshness. It's as if you are renewed it's as if you are born anew. A lot of us need to exercise our spirit much more than we do in order for you to mount up and go beyond the clutches of circumstances and failures that want to rewrite your destiny. If I preach for a while, I go into the incubator. Now is is I can get into the new tongue faster now because I depend on it. Say this is the rest. It's not another thing. Say herein lies what the rest and what. If you don't get refreshing regularly as a minister, you can start getting attracted to a woman that is not your wife. The old anointing is still operating on, because that fresh impartation comes with the ability to sanctify you. It sanctifies and separates you. Anytime you begin to see that lust has come, it's a proof that you are, you are not fresh again. And the devil has mastered your old mood. And he's, he's planning with that dimension in mind. Why not press further? When a fresh impartation comes, what happens is that you become a new person. Because the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you shall be what? Changed into what? So he will have to study you afresh to create temptation for you. Because because of that impartation you became a new man. You can become a thousand men in your lifetime. And you need to continue research in his lab every day because of Victor. He has planned but overnight Victor receive an impartation and he's a new man by tomorrow. And those of you, those young dancers that like you attach yourself to a minister, say, Kai. And you go there and you be, because he doesn't drive you. Hmm? Every time he comes, you go there, you spend four hours, five hours. At that time, the person is suffering from an old oil. And you are trying to complicate his situation by coming for five hours he doesn't have the will to drive you he's weak so you are not saying his vision you are sharing that you saw an ox <coughs> please leave, don't kill that man leave that man in your place allow no they got you are not please help me preach so, say uh, leave him leave him Because in that state, his soul is active because the oil is not fresh. He can still preach a good sermon, you still be blessed, but he himself has not rested. If you don't know this, you don't know when to run from counseling. 
Don't cancel when you have not rested. Yes, sir. Suddenly you just discover that you don't like your wife again. If I don't like you, I won't tell you what I'm telling you. And don't, as a preacher, be, hey, don't lose the virtue of sincerity. You are already a dead man. Don't hide under where, what you preach in, in local jail. When you notice that you are like another woman is old oil, yeah, you need what? A fresh tongue. You need rest. Notice that the Bible said this hearing is the rest, but they will not hear. The flesh has tendencies to turn away from that solution. But you need a new tongue for a balanced spiritual life. If I catch any of the sisters, maybe we invite a minister and you come there, you are spending four hours. I will use cane to beat you physically. Say so you are we come the first day, you are in the room for counseling, you are seeing visions of oxes. I just know that your own case is a physical problem. We are we came you from that place. When the man is is the devil is striking. His, weak, his will has been captured. But you'll be claiming that yeah, your vision is sweet. Ah, you saw, eh, you saw an axe. No, it's your will. Your will has gone, bro. It's not the vision. You are getting attached to the young damsel. I will find him. Leave him alone. You know, we suffer so much as young preachers. But he said, I saw you in the heaven. Go and read your book. <laughs> Go and read your book. I saw you in heaven. Which heaven? I'm here. I'm here. I'm in Lagos. I'm... No. I'm in Lagos. Tell your neighbor, please, you need a fresh tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need what? Fresh. Sometimes I travel from Lagos just to join because the, the tongue has, is old. So I have to join the brethren to pray with them again. And while I'm standing with them, a fresh tongue. I, all of that's enough for me. I can go back to Lagos. Sometimes it's as if witches invade my apartment in Lagos so that I will not penetrate. No, I have another hole. I can pay money, the last money. When we are praying like that, I just I take a bath in spirit waters. And just in case you were planning me from Lagos while I'm coming back, park before I come. I have rested. My hands on the axe now is, is, is. And as a man of God, you need rest frequently. And don't play about it. You will just cleave to a sister before you realize it. Finally, I would have gone further on this into First Corinthians to show you. Paul's lifestyle. He was a man that always rested. What I got from what Benjamin said, he said, wait, me I got rest. When you finish resting, then you can mount up. He said, there that wait upon the Lord. What will happen to them? They will do it. They will do what? They will mount up with wings like this. You know, a lot of people are expecting that since we are young people, we will get involved with women and let's prove them wrong. For a thousand years, we'll prove them wrong. I found out that you can mount. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings. Finally, you need power. For a balanced spiritual life. 
and ye shall what receive. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye will be my witnesses <laughs> in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and in the outermost part of the earth. A man that has power, people locate your, your address with that complimentary card. Your phone number, they just find it. Say, I'm, my name is Bayo. Bayo, we have never seen. How did you get my number? Say, I got it from somebody. The address and the location of power is known in the land. God said, I don't know there's evangelism work to do. There's so much to do, but wait, tarry. You need to be endued with what? With power from on high. What gospel are we preaching that doesn't have power? That's a lecture. And today, you will receive power. I, I don't have time because of the time to teach you. The real thing I wanted to teach is power. Power. How that every one of us can have power. You need power in the office. Power at home. You need power on the street. You need power while you are sleeping. That's the one I found out recently. That when you sleep, the witch is around, gather. I say, okay, let's kill him. Sleeping with my wife on the bed. Was I awake or asleep? I don't know. But I saw a door in my room that I did not build. And when I looked through the door, it was night, but when you look through the door, it was daytime. Ah. And I saw one Baba far. He had his skin back, and he was looking like this. What's the name of that bag? Aurata. Jesus. In one second, Baba was already at that door. He was far out, but in one second, he was at the door. He wanted to put his head. I said, ah. So I now say, I kill you in the name of Jesus. And I didn't know it. I said it physically. And while I said that, my spirit left my body with an axe. Where it came from, I don't know. Before I got there, Baba did like this and he had wings on his hand to fly and his, his first attempt at flight positioned him well for the axe tell your neighbor you need power so when the next day they say Fulani is coming and say no I killed Baba I killed him he can't come can't come. I, I fought Baba. If Baba had subdued me, full and he would have come. They were carrying load and running. I said, No. A man such as me cannot run. No, it's too late. It's better let me die. It will strengthen you more. That our leader was there and he died. Hey! More people will be ready to die. I like that kind of death. I like that dead. Our leader, he was there, gallant, and they struck him. He was still cursing. He was proclaiming the kingdom. They struck him. He, he was. Many more people will that the full army will run away. My death, the anointing will come on more than 25 people. Run? No, not now. If my death will, will do better than my life, I will give it. Some strange men will rise. They couldn't take us off in Kano. Because when you kill one, the anointing falls upon another. When you pierce, it falls on ten. They had to advise themselves to stop killing. Because we were becoming stronger. Who told you that Fulani can take us out? 
But what you need is what? What you need is what? Can you rise on your feet? Listen to me. You will receive power this morning. The armies of the aliens must be put to flight. The people that killed your father cannot succeed on your life. The people that killed in your family cannot succeed in your life. Lift up your right hand and ask him for power. will be able to stop a man that has a balanced spiritual life. He does not see the limitations. He does not see the things that hinder. He sees the power of God. Nobody can remove us from the Lord that God has granted us. No man. Whether he fights with bomb, with spear, with bow and arrow, no man can take us from the land that God has planted us. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord is shall be
in Jesus name brothers and sisters in the midst of all the trouble in the land the great one says he comes he comes and damage shall be done to the camp of the enemy because he comes he comes and the people shall be made strong the base man shall be made a warrior because he comes he comes and the fruitful field shall be a forest the fortunes of the land shall be restored the heavens shall be open and he shall bring redemption to his people he comes say the lord he comes he comes no man born of woman can drive you out of a land that god has planted you he's sovereign to will fight he will fight with thunder and hail stones he will smite and he will slay and the wounded of the Lord shall be many. He comes to bring salvation unto his people. In a moment of time, I want you to lift up your voice and pray for the land and say, Come, Lord Jesus, come with power, come with might. He comes. Person close to you and begin to pray faith into that life. No, two by two, two by two. Pray into that life, pray into her spirit, pray into his spirit. Banish every fear, banish every fear, banish that fear.
just lift your right hand up and close your eyes. For a little one shall become a fast. Small one shall become a strong day. We banish that fear that is over this land. The fear that have been casted upon us through sorcery and through witchcraft. We turn that cloud of darkness backward, 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 backward in the name of Jesus. We banish this abomination from our land. We command your wicked sorcery to fail. Let the terror of God invade your camps in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, oh yes. We command you to turn backward. Turn backward, turn backward, turn backward. By the fury of God, by the fire of God, by thunder, by brimstone, by fire, turn backward. Now you can receive the power of God. Just lift that hand. Aha. Okay, Zita. Play. Stop playing. There is a deposit that will come upon you. Mama Leke. Now, there are 12 people that heaven will break out on right now. Then I'll stop. I will not go beyond that point. I will not go beyond the 12. Now, ushers, help me now. Ushers, help me now. There are 12 people. The hand of God will come upon them. 12 people. 12 people. Inside and outside. 12 people. It's already coming. It's coming. Strong. Ushers, just help me. Help me. If the people fall close to you, just help me bring them. Father, those 12 people in this hall. Let your hand descend upon them. Let your spirit descend upon them. Let your finger descend upon them. Let your finger descend upon them. Twelve people. He shall receive power. There are 12 people, 12 people, 12 people, there are 12 people, 12 people, 12 people. Outside can join us inside. Father, you say 12 people. We have four people here. Locate the eight people. Locate the eight. 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 Locate them. 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 Look at them, look at them, look at them. Father, we have seven people here, but you say twelve people. Put your hands upon the rest and look at them. 
Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Some here, oh yeah. Stretch your right hand towards me right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, those among the eight, twelve that are here, locate them, 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 locate them. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Help me bring them. Help me bring them. Bring them from outside. Bring them. Bring the sister from outside. Bring her. Bring her. It is a day of empowerment. There shall be no people in the land. No weak among those people. For he brought them forth with silver and gold. And there was no people among that tribe. I have seen that God will need many apostles for this work, for this revival. I'm seeing it. There are seven apostolic roles that will be released right now. But before we do that, can you stretch your hand towards the monks, central monks, and curse it? Curse that monks. Curse that monks. We shut you down. We shut you down. We shut you down. Shut that much down. We cut it down, we cut it down. 
We cut it down in the name of Jesus. We shut it down. We shut it down. We shut it down. We shut down with sorceries. We shut down with witchcraft. We shut down the spiritual satellites. We shut it down. We shut it down. We shut it down. seven robes. And that is whether or not you are called into the office of the apostle. What is the mantle of the office? And you can receive it. The mantle of the office. You have one. Come. Come. We will know the power of that rod from you. You have one. I pray to receive it now. Some of you have been given a new life. A new life comes upon you. In your pastoral ministry, you will see the apostolic wisdom and power. And so God will release one of the mantles into your hands. And your ministry will change. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have served as a pastor in the, under the shepherd's unction for long. But from today. Let the grace and the mantle, the grace and the mantle, the grace and the mantle of the apostolic realm function in your life. With power, with signs, with wonders, miracles, with healing, and mighty deliverances, even displacement of territorial spirits and demons, receive the authority to stand as such. In Jesus' name. Father, ah, Let those people, those people, Lord, ordain for the six other mantles. Let your wind blow it into their spirit. 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 Blow it into their spirit right now. Blow it. Thank you, Jesus. as an intercessor. <laughs> Receive a cloak. A cloak that will make you a master in the issues bordering on spiritual authority. Bordering on government and establishment. Let the grace and the power of God reveal this realm upon you, upon you, upon you. 
a cutting edge anointing mark with great signs and wonders from today in the name of Jesus lift up your hands as we pray today if you are sick in your body put your right hand there if your child is sick lay your hands Lay your hands. Receive the cloak. Receive the cloak. Receive the cloak and the mantle. every sickness that is present here in the bodies of people I command the sickness to go bring it, it's the mantle I'm talking about it's the mantle